in a lineup. Miller in one car, two, Blake three, King your top seed in four, Flag in five, Menchoff for six, McDonald seven, and Twist in eight. Once again, championship and national record for 1801. Nick Caldwell set back in 2011. So Miller going to be off to Ohio State University and King declaring for UVA. Flag for Wisconsin. McDonald declaring for Notre Dame. And then that Bison for Riley Twist will be up there at Bucknell. I think I know that Virginia Hastings in a neighboring community, she's going to buck now also from Wilton. So here we go, center of the pool, lane one at the bottom of your screen, lane number eight up top. And we've got Twist at Bison, he's out pretty quickly, but out of lane number four right now, he won the national championship in the 4 a.m. last night, David King. We'll see where we have him going. We're going to keep that record pace going. So King's out 49-32 in the 500. And that is under national record pace. That was a 49-44. So David King, he was under that national record pace earlier today also. And through the 150, He's at 115.85. He's leading flag by 1.22 seconds. And then Riley Twist up top there, putting a big effort in up there in lane number eight. He is in third. He was 117.36. He's about 34 hundredths of a second ahead of where he was earlier to give you some perspective. 200 through, 142.40. Just over the national record pace right now, Nick Caldwell. Caldwell legendary here in our YMCA national events. Tremendous distance swimmer out of Sarasota. Sarasota, when they were a Y, had some absolutely outstanding distance swimmers on both sides. Danielle Valley, Nick Caldwell, the Cats, they were all top notch. So it's still twist in third, flag in second, and your leader in lane number four, David King. David King from Piedmont, Cavalier Aquatics. And he pushes through the 300 at 235.36. Give you a little perspective from this morning, he was 237.34. So he's going to try to get down it below that 425 mark, I would presume, if he's got that back half speed to go. He's opened it up pretty significantly now over the rest of the field. Flag is next to him, our 1,000 champ in lane five, and here comes the rest of the field now out of lanes two and three. Carr, Isaac Carr from Champaign County, now in third. We'll give you King at 301.96. He was the only guy in a, at that 26.60 mark below 27 for that split. On that last 50, we'll see where he is. He's 26.78 on that split for David King. And this morning, King was at that point with 100 to go. He was 332, so he's got a real good shot to get down possibly into that 423 range, which would be a tremendous, tremendous swim. So he's got 50 to go. He's got to put on put on a 20, maybe a high 25 to get back. Wow, that would be great. What's he got left? He's going to be potentially just over in that 423 range possibly wow 422 37 look at that last split he was consistently in that 26 range flag comes back in at 426 and then finishing up in third teddy blake from triangle what a last 100 for teddy blake 
So there you go. There's a nat your national champion. He was national champion last night in the 4 a.m. And David King wins a national championship in the 500, followed by Isaac Flagg. And then Teddy Blake coming all the way back. Great last 150 for Blake as he moved through it. So congratulations. We'll see those awards here after these next two heats. And here we go into the C final for the men's 500. And swimming out of lane number one.